uh, uh, Chris Pronger was a guy that we've had on the show, and, and Prongs was good to me as a rookie. And I always wondered from your perspective when they brought him in and just what he, you know, playing with him, what he meant to the team. How was it dealing with with Prongs day in day out and just as a teammate? You know what? First of all. The Pronger was probably the toughest player I ever played against. And I think he was the first guy and only guy that I got really personal in the, on the ice and, and even in the Olympics in, in 2006 uh, after the first period against Canada. The lower, our locker rooms were very close to each other and we, were, we, we stayed there yelling like 10 minutes and he tried to get, get to me and there's people, you know, protecting, yeah, you know, and, and, I, and we are just throwing bombs to each other and everything. And, and every game, like he, the way how he played, he was so evil. He used the stick like a weapon. He was just a dirty player. And I, I always, I knew when I'd be playing against St. Louis because it's not going to be a fun day. Yeah. You know? And he played always against me. And, and those rules in the old days, you know, like a lot of times I went around him and he just hooked me and, and then I started yelling referees and they're they like, what? And, <laughs> and he's yelling me like, what a whiner you are. Like, I said, you don't know how even how to play the game. You know? <laughs> Shut up. So it, it, got, it, got, it, got, it got pretty personal. And I played with his brothers, the great family. I knew he's a great guy. Sean Parker's a great guy, right? Yeah. Well, yeah and, and so is Chris, you know. But yeah, I didn't I know him that, that part because I, I didn't really, I didn't want to know. I thought it was a jerk, you know. Yeah, you just hated him. So then, you know, when uh, uh, after the 2005, 2006, you know, Brian Burke said, I'm going to go after some big, big, uh, yeah. uh, Big guy, if, if if I can, and I took the pay cut so we got more room in the in the in the cap, and and then I, in my birthday, July third, I got a phone call from Alex Gilchrist, yeah, and he said we got Pronger. I said, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought first, <laughs> I, like, all I, right, I, trade I, me. I thought first, <laughs> I'm like, I thought Sean for Sean Pronger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, so I got no, we, we got Chris Pronger. Yeah, and we already went to conference final. I knew that. Point, I knew we were going to win. And the thing is, I always remember when I met first time uh, Bronx in the locker room before the camp, we didn't say anything. We just we went to each other and gave a big hug. <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, then, you know, like, like great. We have we, actually we became very yeah, no, good you, friends, you, guys, you know, yeah, you guys and a close. great, great uh, uh, respect to each other and stuff. But that's why he was so good because he was the way how he played he make make everybody hate to play against him yeah. but that's why he's a hall of famer he's a un unbelievable player and it was great to play with him i always said you know thank god you're in my team because yeah, I, I, I don't totally. have to deal this with anymore but and you know the see the way how we see the game you know and, and how much he helps everybody it's, it's phenomenal yeah. and how much he get away with oh he was the only guy that got away with he should get the penalty every shift every but shift because he just <laughs> two three every shift the referees can't do that <laughs> so the thing table table had the best chirps for the refs ever like the lines are a rookie you always do but you're like are they, are they paying you out here today are they paying you how much i'll buy you out i'll buy you out <laughs> you need a, yeah. sometimes they need cause do you, want, do you need a beer too here or i got only watch and drink beer or i gotta do your job so table we had in our corner, my rookie year, it went Getzlav, Pronger, Marchant, myself, Penner, Getzlav, and then Solani in that corner. That was our corner. Who was the most hungover guy every morning? Who could you tell when he walked in? I don't want to put you on the spot, but who do you think was... You would always say this every morning to this point, one guy. It was Corey Perry. He'd be like, <laughs> oh, you like, oh, look whatever. I'm like, holy fuck, Perry, you look hungover this morning. Well, like, he couldn't hide it because yeah, I was yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, try, just try to even show that you know you're not you don't have a hangover. Yeah, so. the way how he walk and he was like, oh. <laughs> Tim was like, you guys don't look bad, pairs fuck, but you look hungover. 